Hey everyone, in this crash course, I'm going to walk you through building a real-time application with Hotwire, Turbo, and Rails. Without further ado, let's get started. The application we will be building is really simple. It's going to be a chat app with rich text capabilities. Users can connect to these chat rooms and talk to each other in real time using text and images. We will use action text and WebSockets to implement this, and we will do so in less than 30 lines of code. To get started, we will create a new project with the Postgres database. Next, we have to install the dependency for Hotwire Rails. So we go ahead, key that in, and run the bundler, and then jump into the project directory and create the database. I'm going to start the server and then run the script for action text install, and then the script for Hotwire. So now we have all the dependencies installed, and I'm going to create the scaffold for a room, and a room can have a name. Let's see if this works. Okay, compiling assets, and we have an error. It's okay, this is my fault. I forgot to restart the server after installing the dependencies. So I do that, and everything is well. Let's test out the room, and it seems to work. Let's go ahead and create the model for a message, and then have it reference the room. Let's run the migrations, and then create the association for the room. So a room can have many messages. Now we're going to create a loop that will render each message inside the room. We will also need a form so that the user can key in a message and then send it to the room for everyone to see. Next, I'm going to create the route and nest it under the rooms, so each room can have many messages. I'm going to copy the route alias and then create the form and point it to submit to that endpoint. I never remember how to build forms correctly in Rails, so after a few tries, I stumble my way to victory. With the message form in place, I go ahead and hook up the message model to action text. This is what allows us to have rich text in our application. With the controller endpoint generated, it's time to connect the front end to the back end. So now I'm going to go ahead and create strong parameters so I can pass the data coming from the user to the database. With strong params in place, let's jump into the runtime and figure out what's actually coming from the form. So the form submits content. Now that we can create and save messages, it's time to figure out how to broadcast them to each chat room. So to do this, I'm going to hook into Active Record and create a callback. This callback will fire each time a new message is created, and the server will broadcast to the respective room the message belongs to. Flipping over to the front end, we can go ahead and create a turbo stream for the room ID, which will mount a WebSocket for anybody who is on this specific page. I make a small mistake here by referencing the room ID in the turbo frame tag, but that's okay, we'll fix that later. Here I isolate a partial for each message and then pass in the message ID to turbo. With the broadcast and references in place, we can see that we are actually streaming from this specific room we're currently on. Let's fix that problem from before and reference message. So now we can see that whenever we send a message, it is broadcasted to all the occupants in that specific room. This is very good. We have a WebSocket going, and we did all of this in less than 30 lines of code. This project is almost done. Next, I add the image processing dependency so we can actually process images when the user attaches them to a message. So with everything in place, we can just simply drag images into the chat, send them, and have them update in real time. This was a really simple example, but it shows how powerful Hotwire can be for building interactive experiences on the web. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.